Welcome to this week's edition of The Low Down, presented by Lexus. I'm Rebecca Lowe, Robbie Earl, Tim Howard. Now, it's a lighter weekend <laughs> because of the FA Cup quarterfinals, so I still have five questions, but all I know is I don't think they're anything to do with football. They're, they're lighter questions. So it's a left-field lowdown. Mm. I'm OK with it. OK. You're all dressed in green today. It's St Patrick's Day. Yeah. Which is your favourite holiday of the year? Wow, it has to be Christmas with Thanksgiving close behind. But let's be honest, there's about 75 holidays in this country, aren't there? <laughs> and every single one of them is celebrated. <laughs> and I've still got chocolate in my fridge from Christmas, Valentine's Day, and now I've got Easter chocolate. It's crazy. But I'm actually a big holiday lover. I'm a big holiday lover. Christmas has to be, will always be. the. It's the OG. I mean, Christmas mm. is the OG. Mm. But Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is coming, coming up close. on the outside. In the, I mean, when I first moved here, I was like, what is this? <laughs> I don't understand. What should we be doing? But now, just it's kind of the Thanksgiving innocence. Like, there isn't yeah. a lot to sell at Thanksgiving, mm. you know? So I feel like it's a bit purer. So I'm here for it. Although I do think maybe we could start a campaign. Could we put it at the other half of the year? I, I mean, there's a lot. We're doing Thanksgiving, and then four weeks later, we're doing Turkey again, and we're, we're, all, we're all having to fly back to our families. No, no. Let's put Thanksgiving. I mean, does it have to be in November? Let's put it in June. There's nothing in June. It's the only that's, month without a holiday. New. That's new. Right? Thanksgiving okay. in that, June. Leave that one with me. Timbo, are you having that? You are so passionate about holidays. <laughs> it, is, it, it is refreshing to see. Speaking of holidays, Easter's coming up. I know the answer to this question. Right. What's your favorite Easter treat? Oh, my gosh. You know the answer? Definitely. Do you? <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'll be shocked. Okay. <laughs> I've got a few. I know. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not going to say no to a Capri's cream egg. <laughs> Is that what you yeah, mean? There you go. <laughs> well, again, when we first moved here, I don't think there were a lot of Capri's cream eggs on the market. Mm. We had to possibly smuggle a few in at times. And I'm just going to say it. Now they're everywhere. But the big question is, were they made in New Jersey at the factory? Or were they made, it's very boring, or were they made in England? You've got to make sure you get the ones, no offence, New Jersey, that were made in England. Um, they're phenomenal. I'll take a few mini eggs. I'll yeah, take a few mini eggs. Yet. But one thing that hasn't arrived in America yet, which we need to do, Earl, is in, in England, when you go to a supermarket at Easter, there are shelves of... Uh, of Easter eggs, right? Huge Easter eggs. Huge Easter eggs that come with their separate treats. Timbo, you must remember that from your days. Remember I talked about the passion that she yeah, had? It's yeah, coming out. Keep going. Well, we're talking about chocolate. Now, that <laughs> is my passion. So I'm sure now America, normally England follows America. Somehow we've mm. led the way with that. Yeah, the, but America needs to jump the market, on that. There's it? a gap in the market. So what you would get is a giant Easter egg and then you like a, a, a Reese's Pieces or whatever it's called. And then you'd have like some Reese's inside. stuff on the side. And inside the egg, inside. crack the egg and there'll be loads. Of, I mean, That's you know it makes sense. That's the future, man. You know it makes sense everyone my idea Timbo no oh, last international break of the season yep Where, what are you going to do spending your weekend off oh, a little bit maybe a little trip a little family trip well it's difficult to go away during the season mm. when you have a child because their holidays don't always match up but this one matches up amazingly oh. so we're going to take a little family trip and we have some friends coming from England so that will be lovely so we'll get together with them and we'll just do all of the Easter stuff because I'll be working on Easter weekend so I'll just do everything early so I have to sort of explain to Teddy that the Easter bunny it's not just a one day thing for the Easter bunny he sometimes he has to work all around. week mm. depending on working parents schedules and Santa's the same by the way Santa has often worked different days for me I don't know if you guys have ever met the bunny, but the bunny will just do whatever day you want him to do. So that's what we're going to be doing. A lot of Easter stuff, a lot of Cadbury's cream eggs. You and the bunny going. Me, me, and the, me and the bunny organising everything, correct. Nice. Yeah, we're talking about favourite holidays. Everyone's favourite weekend is always Fan Fest. We're going to Nashville. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to? Oh, my gosh. Country music, wall to wall. Country music, maybe I could sing. Yeah. I mean, I'm not allowed oh, no. to. There's a law in the studio. I mean, everyone's just jealous of the voice. But um, I wish I could sing, hopefully, at Nashville at some point. Um, that's obviously a joke. I don't actually want to sing before anyone sets that up. Um, hopefully just, like, seeing a vibe that we haven't seen before. Mm. You know, with the cowboy hats and the... Is it cowboy hats? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, and so. all the kind of country stuff that happens down in Tennessee. Like, how fun. I mean, you know all about Tennessee, too. Great. I'm great. just excited for that kind of different vibe and the way that America just flipping turns up for everything. Yep. Ah, oh, I love it. You've led me into the fifth question. Uh -oh. Country music is a, is a big favourite of Huge yours. Huge favourite. Massive. Who, who's your favourite artist? I know the answer to this one, I know, too. The answer. <laughs> I know the answer. I think I'm, I know the answer. I, I speak a lot. I speak a lot. Um, <laughs> my my lot. absolute number one favourite who I'm seeing in concert this well, June, we... is Luke Combs. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. I, I, I mean, the guy is phenomenal. You can't not like him. The songwriting, the voice. And yeah. I'm going to see him June 1st in Arizona. 
I mean, if he wants to just meet up, have a chat about Premier League. Maybe come to, sure. come to Fanfare? Yeah, if he want, yeah if yeah. He, available. Nashville will be there. Just come on down, Luke. You Luke. know, we'll be there. It's going to be fun, Nashville. Looking back. Two weeks ago. Looking back. And Easter eggs. Everything you could ever want. That was this week's edition of The Lowdown, which you can get available for you with all of our original content on the NBC Sports YouTube channel with Premier League Update, the two Robbies, the tactic session. And there it is, The Lowdown. We'll see you next week. studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.